Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. So good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, congratulations and happy new year to all of us because today is the first of the Chinese New Year, what we call the Lunar Year. So thank you for being here, for being present. And uh, this year we are celebrating the Year of the Tiger, actually. Um, as we do this, uh, let me shut the music down in the background so we can be together. Hello, whoever you are being here. So I was thinking of what is it the celebration? I'm all in red. I guess today is the red day. <laughs> the year of the tiger symbolizing people who are born in this year are brave, competitive, unpredictable, and confident, right? So confidence also comes with this incredible charm and well-liked. And sometimes possess this stubborn personality, personality. So I guess all tigers are not all the same. But when I was thinking of a tiger, I think it embodies courage and bravery. Like what I am talking about on my website and everywhere as you get to know there is so much that is coming. And it's all about show up, stand up and speak up. So to have this persona of having the courage to stand up, having the courage to show up and having this bravery to express and speak up it's uh, the new year actually symbolizes the resilience and strength and how apropos it is for everything that I stand for and uh, this new year is about to embody. So the LisaBubari.com and being on my show, if you would like to be interviewed by me, by all means, uh, drop me a line or if you know of someone who you think has gone through extreme challenges or any kind of a challenge and where they are right now are embodying the essence of this tiger, courage, bravery, and overcome to a point that they are making an impact in someone else's life. I would love to interview you or them. So drop me a line and let me know. And I was thinking, celebrating Chinese New Year, celebrating anything in life, it's about celebrating who we are, celebrating how we show up in life. So here's my question to you. How do you show up in life? Hi, Sirajan. How are you, love? When we show up, do we show up as one of my, um, one of my clients was talking about this? And I'm going to tell you a story. So a few months ago, I had a client who came in here and he, for self-esteem, for anxiety, for a lot of stress factor that he was going through. And as we started doing the therapy, he, he came in one day looking sharper. And I said, you look, you look very debonair and you look sharp. He says, well, I took a shower and instead of coming from the gym, I took a shower and combed and I changed my shirt. Like, okay, that's very nice. He says, you know, after coming here, this is like my fourth session. I feel like uh, something has changed. I don't know what it is but it has changed and i said even if nothing has changed now after doing the work he's less anxious sleeps better he is tidying himself better so his self-esteem has increased and all that it's like you know a part of our self-esteem self-confidence it's what we project. Self-esteem is what we feel from the inside. And I said, as you come to believe in yourself, 
as you come to feel good about yourself, about your life, yes, you are tidying yourself up. And he said something that it was quite interesting. He said, well, my father was a slob. I'm a slob. Frankly, I don't care how people think of me or what they say. And yet, he was making small little changes in his attire, in his look, and how he showed up in life. So, and I said, you told me your father was quite successful. Yes, even though he was a slop, he was very successful. And I said, and why not take that part of your father and add it to where you are and become successful, more successful? So in a way, he had not thought of it that way. It's like, I can be a slob just like my father, but why not be as successful? So as we tap into the subconscious mind, understanding that the work that I do it's not only talk therapy, but it is tapping and guiding you to tap within your own subconscious mind where it's the true reservoir of everything that you believe in. So you may act differently, but if you believe in something and that belief has not changed, that belief has not shifted, then you will get to do the same thing over and over, over and over. It can be about how you show up in life. It can be how successful you are in life. It can be about your finances. It can be about your relationships and constantly having uh, this being in the loop of uh, negative thought, negative behaviors, or even with the wrong people. So bottom line, what you believe about yourself, how you want to show up in life, how you speak and how you express yourself has a lot to do with the shift in life that is happening. So your to-do list, think about it. How do you show up? How do you want to perceive how others are to perceive you and the way you look in the mirror. Do you express yourself fully, completely? And do you express it with anger, resentments? Because even if you want to be successful and you see others successful and you're not celebrating their success, and you are resentful of their success, then believe it or not, your success may not come to you as a flow in a beautiful way. There's going to be constant challenges because when there is resentfulness in relationship, in love, in money, in uh, success, in uh, beauty in grace and even the way somebody's uh, how they keep themselves if there is resentment if there is jealousy if there is anger this, even if it is a tiny little one then it is reflected guess where back into you so there is this ne there's this negating or negative information coming from you, out of you, and going back into you because it is this beautiful cycle, the cycle that not only is projected outside, but remember, you're the first person who hears it. You're the first person who feels it. You're the first person that knows, even if it is underlying and you're not quite understanding it. You're feeling it. You believe it. So the subconscious mind is where everything is. And that's the work that I do. It's not this constant 
uh, talk therapy, what you think, what you feel and everything. But when we tap into the reservoir of your belief system, the blueprint within yourself, and you come to explore, explore and unravel, peel away your thoughts, your feelings and everything, just like him. It's like, oh, why is it that I adopted the slob part and not the success part? S, slob, S, success. And as I took him into that state of hypnosis, for that younger version of him, that adult version of him, and the parent version of him to come to adopt this aspect, of I can re rewrite, rewire, redo this belief system about myself because I cared so much about my father and had so high regards, I can also adopt the part of being successful. And as I reduce my anxiety and I can sleep better, I can also adopt becoming more successful. And guess what? Every day in every way, that becomes the new affirmation. Every day in every way, I choose to bring success and allow Success, prosperity, flow, money, finance, grace come into my life. You see, anything we negate and there is resentment, this negativity creates a block. But when we come to full acceptance and appreciation of not only others, but ourselves, it's like Everything, even love, prosperity, grace, compassion, everything comes to flow towards you. So, as you move forward in life, the affirmations that you use day in, day out. And by the way, in a day, actually, even if today, you go to our website uh, you can sign up just put your email sign up and get our daily affirmations with a small little token of a becoming a member monthly you get to have daily affirmations coming to you creating this membership creating this community that as you come this heal within being a part of this heal within community, being part of showing up, standing up, speaking up, we come together to be part and support one another in order to lift your life, to lift your spirit, to lift this day and make a small little change. You see, every single day, if you start by reading an affirmation that that starts your day on a positive note. That you wake up in the morning and instead of your pain, what am I going to do? All this, you start with something that is positive, with a smile. That sets the tone for the rest of your day. So every morning when I wake up, I do the same thing. I have this mantra, I call it mantra. So as I wake up, even before I get out of my bed, I have this mantra that I repeat for my own. And then I give thanks for all my senses being intact, that I can see, that I can hear, that I can taste, that I can smell, and I can feel, I can touch, and that sets my day of being aware of everything about who I am and where I am and that I am safe. Okay? 
Next thing is my dog. As we go, it's a whole uh, set of group of dog walkers within our neighborhood that we get together. We go, hello, Robert. How is your baby angel? And uh, as we go, you know, we walk approximately three miles a day. And that's my exercise of the beginning of my day. Three miles, right? And sometimes it's less. But most times we do this three mile walk and we get to this level. And a lot of pictures that I take is from there that all the dogs gather and all the owners of the dogs and we give treats. And as we are leaving, we are looking at the joy of the dogs playing with each other. And as we are leaving, we say, have a blessed, uh, have a blessed day. Have a great day. Today is whatever day and we give this affirmation so the other day I thanked everyone and I said do you realize that without thinking about it every single day we are giving thanks not only to our loved ones the four-legged ones but ourselves and we are in a way watching out for one another so that is a community and that's what we are creating at here within so when I say have the courage to show up, have the courage to stand up, have the courage to speak up, it's for you. So join us, join the Heal Within, even at lisabubari.com, healwithin.com, no matter where you go, there will be a way that brings you to this community. And that is exactly today on this beautiful lunar new year wearing red enticing invigorating and just bringing joy because red in our chakra colors is also our root color the root that is between your legs even females every month that's cleansing cleansing of your body the refreshing the re rejuvenating your body yes not only your blood but every month we go through this and my grandmother used to say yes it's cleansing this pot it's cleaning this pot right but it's not something that I'm saying that no one has experienced it it is powerful it is it is cleansing it is grounding you to your root in realizing that yes set the intention to be rooted not only with mother earth but in who you are so when you feel rooted and strong in your roots from wherever you come in life to where you are today from your ancestry to this very moment when you feel strong balance, supported with grace, with charm, with joy, that is the essence of knowing you matter. So community is what we are bringing together. And that is the beginning of healing. You know, you can fix a lot of things in your life, but if you haven't healed the wounds the trauma from deep long time ago the cycle will come back and you wonder I thought I fixed it it's not fixing it you can be healthy and yet not healed right you can go and do all the things that you want you can go exercise and do everything and yet you come and do this self-sabotaging negative talk so yes you look great your body is wonderful you've got your six apps but if you come with negative thoughts and your self-esteem your self-worth is still low it's contradiction so if you or someone you know that is now ready to uproot themselves, to balance 
and come to a place to heal within and are ready to show up, stand up and speak up for who they are. That is exactly what I do. I help you, guide you, and be the bridge to help you heal within. So today, let's do this. Let's entice, invigorate, and stand up. It's about time we evoke what was so that we can embrace everything that is in order for us to evolve to the things we desire and want and dream in our life. So on this day, be the tiger. Roar from the inside and say yes to you. Say yes to you and join the Heal Within community. I'm Lisa, your host, and I show up every week. And I have been doing this for four and a half years. And in a few months, it will be five years coming live on Facebook. And next week, I'm going to have an incredible guest on my Real Talk with Lisa. So stay tuned. And if you are ready, give me a call. Let's do this together. Until next week, I wish you all the best. Go roar. Put a red symbol on you and be the courageous, brave person like the tiger. See you next week. And until then, God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. And if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.